Well, it's a good morning. Good morning, Esme. Aren't you beautiful? And you with the sunset. Oh, sorry, sunrise in the background. Wakey, wakey. Yeah, so Esme is on the wrong side of the fence. And I wouldn't say entirely wrong because she's in the goat paddock. And she is actually a goat. But I came outside to check on everyone, first thing. And she's just crying. She saw me. She's just crying. Hello, hello, help me. I'm in the wrong paddock. Esme, are you in the wrong paddock? Hello, Mr. Chu. Yeah, I think she might be in the wrong paddock. <laughs> she um, belongs with her sheepy friends. So I'm just waiting for Farmer John to get out here because we're going to have to carry her back over because she slipped through some hot wire. And uh, yeah, I can't actually put her back through that way. She, we'll both get hurt. So it's my sweetheart. It's going to happen in a sec. It's going to happen in a sec, darling. Oh, you're so beautiful, Esme. Yeah. So cool. I'll go out there in a sec, but I'm just seeing, you know, Winston and Dave are just sitting out there with the lambs. They are, it's like they're so, I can see it. They're happy. They, they feel like they're, they've got this real role, right? This sense of purpose. They love it. They're great at it. We're very happy. And Jacob, he's the only one who's run over and said hello to me yet this morning, but I don't think the others know I'm here. Do they, Jake? He came right up. First thing, come to say good morning. Hi, Miss Molly. Hi, Peach and Taylor. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Billy. Really is a beautiful sunrise. Oh, there's a Farmer John. Hello, Farmer John. I don't think he heard me. Oh, no. All right, Ezzy, now's the time. You gotta let us know. Do you stay or do you go? Esme, she's not listening to me. <laughs> See ya. Now this is pretty cool. Good morning, everyone. Hi, babies. Hello. Oh, so beautiful. Hi, guys. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning! Hi! 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 <laughs> Hi! Now, where are you going to Farmer John? <laughs> Just because he's got a bucket. Hi, my babies. Good morning, Lady Violet. How are you? Oh, shit. Good morning, Philip. Honey, <laughs> here's Phil. No! <laughs> All right, hello. Today, something a little bit different. We have gone to visit. Jed's Run where um, Boots and Compella came to stay and we get to meet the beautiful Dumbo. It's amazing we've just come in and you know there was a little bit of hesitation with Capella. She wasn't quite sure and then she had a sniff and she's like no that smells pretty familiar. Obviously we've been patting her brothers and sisters all morning and then yeah Bootsy just bundle of love. He's just like hi guys yep missed you too. It's very sweet you're very sweet Boots. Look at you you're just adorable. Hi, it's so nice. It's beautiful to see that they, they remember, you know, just like people and just like other animals, they remember. The love doesn't go away. So yeah, very, very cool to be able to see them in their very cool new home. Very happy piggies. And nice to meet you, Dumbo. You're beautiful. Oh, look at that. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Dumbo. Let's see ya. So this is something that we don't usually share at feed time feeding the pigs because they can be very very loud it sounds like somebody is being tortured it's incredible and you know what makes it even worse at the moment is that the piglets they were going through all the fencing previously and they would just go and forage and eat all the grass all the loose and whatever was coming up every single paddock they had full range of the farm and now we've set up the electric so that the piglets cannot get out anymore so they are confined to their paddock you know, which is actually a decent size, but there isn't any lucerne. They've eaten all of the, um, anything that's edible within their paddock. So I think the older pigs are a bit pissed off that they're stuck with the piglets all the time. But it won't be for too much longer because we are actually moving the, well, it's going to happen gradually, but we have two pigs coming in the next day or two. Um, and they're going to be using this area that was the flooded paddock as their quarantine with the original pig house, which is called Pumpkin Shack. And, you know, once they have had a little bit of time to settle in, we will actually integrate the other pigs into this paddock and we're gonna have some rotational paddocks for the pigs so we can let some of the stuff over there grow back, you know. Unfortunately, it looks so green here, but it's all just weeds. 
right at the back we've got a bit of grass and a bit of lucerne coming back so fingers crossed that spreads but um yeah at the moment it's just i don't know if you can see these like these big spiky awful weeds and if you can hear that noise in the background that's harley screaming because we do the 13 pigs get fed first and then the five get fed second and that's what they sound like when they're waiting for their food so i better move along Come on, Lenny! Which one is it? Frankie. Oh, Frankie. Frankie, you are going to score big time. Hey, guys! Well, boy, do I sound loud. Hello! Oh, here come some rams. Here they come. Come on, Lenny. Oh, dog. Get in there. Hi, guys. Come on. Come on, baby. Hello, Barry. Ringo. Come on, Lenny. Don't stop now. Come on, Lenny. You can do it. Come on, Jakey. Hey, Jake. Philip. Down those are too far away. They can't hear us. They're so far away. Come on, Phil. Oh, he's coming. Much to his disappointment, I'm on the other side of the fence. Jake, come on, Jakey. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Yep. Come on. I might need to distribute some of that food. Oh, Dropped it a little bit unevenly. Here comes Bill. So, no, no rude words. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to swear. <laughs> hey, Bill. Go and eat next to your mate. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Come on, Jimmy! Jim! Lizzie! Lulu! No, I think Lulu could afford to lose Yeah, she could skip it. She's, she's pretty chunky. Oh my goodness. I love seeing, can you see over there with the, um, the sheep and the alpacas? Such a natural, lovely, you know, um, yeah, really nice relationship that they're forming. All right, well, this was kind of well, anticlimactic, yeah, wasn't it? We were as expecting eventful a as I thought. No. Anyway. Okay. But how, how cool is this new trough? Yeah, it's a great trough. Great talk about pick the up. Trough? Great pick up, Farmer John. Yes. With your sneaky addiction of farm online auctions. Which saves us a fortune. Yeah. That's good. It's a really good It's really job. good. Yeah, I love it. So I just cut the legs down a bit and now everyone's happy. Come on, Minnie. Except for all the sheep who are a bit missed out. Oh. But that's okay, they're eating. They've got, look at that bale. Yeah. We moved the hay for, um, bale feeder. Yeah. They're just... Holder, whatever it's called. <laughs> they're gone. Thanks for bringing it in. But we've got uh, ample we're food good. We're good. We're good. Okay, moving on. Yummy touch. I mean, top top. So this is that lovely part of the evening where we are just winding down and ready to go and sit and relax and hang out with the, um, well actually at the moment we have like a bit of a conundrum. Who do we hang out with? Is it the roosters? Is it the goats? Or is it the lambs? But um, actually we're going to go spend some time with the roosters tonight because the roosters are the newest members here. They definitely benefit from our company. So do the lambs, but they're just, they're, they're needy. Lovely, needy, beautiful animals. Where are you going? 15 minutes. Are we spending 15 minutes with the goats? Oh, we're splitting up our time tonight. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you very much. Hi, Billy. We are coming to hang with you guys tonight. Hi Sue. Hi Molly. Beautiful Billy boy. Billy has a little bit of um, inflammation in his knee, which we're dealing with some medication for. Hi. Every 
everybody has problems all the time. Hello. Hi. Hey, babies. We're just going to go take a seat. There's the twins, Peach and Taylor. <laughs> oh, Peach. Peach is such a beautiful, beautiful, mm. very, very emotionally needy girl, mm. which we just love about her. Chewy, you can't <laughs> no, true. You can't have Jill. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Hi, Taylor. For anybody who saw my post, a picture of Taylor, just that she is a very, very sweet and gentle girl who doesn't ask for much. She doesn't really want your attention. She just wants a nice, simple life where she can just enjoy the sun and have a bit of shelter and have some treats. They all love their berries so much. Like we've upped it with their berry intake. So they get blackberries, strawberries, and currently mango in their feed every day, which we mix in with all the other stuff and they just go, you know, rooting through or scouting through to try and find the berries. I'd like to say bless you, but that's not a goat thing. Um, it's a warning thing. So when it sounds like a sneeze, but it's something that I think is a little bit alarming. And I've just discovered it's because Ash Dash, the kitty, entered the paddock. So that's what, oh, and there's Violet. So that's what she was making that sound at. And hey, 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 yeah. Violet, I wouldn't come in here if I were you. Choo just head butted her. She'll be fine. Choo choo. She's a cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Miss Tilly. She's a happy girl. You know, initially when we brought her into this paddock, we thought that she was really going to miss the house yard and I kidnapped her and brought her back. That's not for you two. They're grown up drinks, okay? No, no, no. Anyway, um, we, put a, we did actually temporarily bring her back into the house paddock, but she pined for the goats. She wanted to come back. And I do feel like maybe, just maybe, I'm oh, sorry. Um, Esme is a little bit conflicted. She was in the goat paddock this morning, as you would have seen at the beginning of this episode or this um, video. And we've moved her, moved her back in with her sheep clan, but I think she feels conflicted. Right, anyway, I think we'll wrap it up there. What do you reckon? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right, bye guys. Hello, boys. Frankie. Look at this dude. This is a lot of love going on right here. Sorry. Oh. I'll go back to. This is extreme love, isn't it, Frank? Hello, Ringo. Hey, Ringo. Mm, you just got a gentle update, Ringo. So, Frank's very loving, and very Phil very. is he's back over there somewhere. That's good. So, that's good. Hello, Barry's bum. Hello. Mm. Sergeant Frank Gilroy. Sergeant Frank Gilroy. The very first lamby we rescued. Now, OG, orphan lamb. Aren't you? And then came William Dobbit. Yes, Dobby. And Junie Bug. Yes. And Dodge. Dodge. Shaggy. Shaggy Dodger. That land over there. Hey, Lenny. Junior came with JD and no? No. Uh. <laughs> I'm like, hang on a second. We didn't rescue June on her own, I'm where sure. Where did Junie come from? Yeah, because I don't know now. <laughs> Gosh. I'm sure she came with Lady Violet and the twins. I'm sure she did. Yeah, I carried her on my lap back from Free Spirit Sanctuary. Hello, Frankie boy. <laughs> Frankie. Alright, I might add this. Hello, Ringo. You have to send it to me now. I'm now Alright, so I'm still recording. Oh, so, yes. Nice. Would you like me to add this to the video? I think so, <laughs> yes, please. Hello, oh, Jakob. Look at this. Look at this lump. There's nothing. There is really nothing like it. Yeah. You know what I'm going to say? I've had kids and they don't <gasps> like as much. <laughs> you know, your daughter might watch this. I, know. I love day. her. I love one her day. so much. Mm. 
<laughs> oh yes, hello Frankie. Hey Ringo. Alright. Gonna stop recording now. Okay. I love you, Dobby. <laughs> <laughs>